Hello and welcome to this demo of the GCOM4 MFL tool. The purpose of this video tutorials is to show you all the functionalities that this tool offers to Unit 4 Business World clients. This demo is composed by the following videos. A general introduction of the tool where we will explain briefly how the interface of the MFL is built. The GCOM4 MFL as a data migration tool which is often the main purpose that clients are using it for. The GCOM4 MFL as a maintenance tool, which allows to retrieve, amend, and upload information. And finally, the GCOM4 MFL as an integration tool, which is the latest feature and allows the MFL to work as a bridge between third-party applications and UBW through CSV files. Let's begin with the first one, a general introduction. Once you have installed the MFL, open the executable file and the window of the MFL will open. It will look like this. From this window, we will connect to Business World. And in order to do that, we need to enter a username, the client code, the password, and the URL of the web service that the MFL will use. We will also find some other pieces of information. There is the refresh button, that will reconnect to UBW in case there is a change in the setup. There is the date format field where we can specify if the dates that will be uploaded are in the format day, month, year or month, day, year. There is also a possibility to load information in test mode which will only validate the information of the templates or the standard mode which will do validations and uploading if all the information in the template is correct. On the right hand side of the window, we have three buttons. The first one will show the license information of the MFL. And in here, we can also change some of the settings of the MFL, such as the validation of the amount in the case of uploading transactions, and also some parameters about the spreadsheet itself. The lock button will show the log generated by the last loading attempt. And the clear button will delete all the logs. Right next to the clear button, we can see the load button, which is used to actually upload the information into business world. And finally, we have the generate button, which is the one we use to generate the Excel templates to upload the information. Let's explore a bit more about this feature. Once you click on the generate button, this window will appear. The first thing we need to do is to select the master file or type of information we want to upload. This section is used to retrieve data into the spreadsheet, which we will explain in another video. And this section is where the MFL shows all the fields and tabs available according to the option we selected. If any flexi groups have been defined, the MFL will also show them. Additionally, we have these three commands at the bottom. This one is to protect or unprotect the workbook, that we will generate, which will prevent the user from modifying the structure of the spreadsheets. If we activate this one, the MFL will insert five sample rows in the spreadsheet as a guidance to the users to fill out the template. And if we activate this one, the MFL will insert a sheet at the end of the file with all the accepted values of the attributes or columns that will be generated in the template. In case the information that needs to be uploaded is for a user-defined attribute, we select Attribute from the list, and then we select the attribute name. The MFL will show the fields and tabs accordingly, and also the flexi groups defined for that attribute. Now we can start using the MFL. Let's continue to the next video, the GCOM4 MFL as a data migration tool.